welcome back my name is jessica from jessica's craft time and today we have the first of our deliveries for the week i've been waiting for this i've been enabled i am going ahead and starting a new project i'm not sure what's in this one but we'll find out just get this bit of paper out in case it's got my address on it so I placed an order with Spotlight and we've got two cross-stitching kits. Sorry for the glare, my light's reflecting off it. So I'm excited to start these. Um, I've dug out my cross-stitching and just started doing a few more things. But we've got across, these are kits. So they should have everything in them. Yep, it's got the eight o'clock. Let's have a look. So we've got this one here, Rainbow Lorikeets. In the series, I actually really wanted the Kookaburra, but it sold out while it was in my cart. And I was actually really annoyed because two of the items that I've ordered have not, have been refunded. They're not coming in. So you have all your flosses there. There's a little needle. Make sure I don't lose anything. Then we have the pattern for that one. So it's not a big one, but I haven't done cross stitch for a long time. So I wanted something little to get into. See if I still enjoy doing it. I'll just open this up here. And then we've got our Ada cloth. So, what does it say? DMC Stranded Cotton, 18 count Ecru Ada, size 24 needle, cross stitch chart and instructions. So there's my instructions on how to do it. So stay tuned. I will let you know once I've finished it and popped up a photo. So that is our lorikeet. So it's not very big, but something to get me started. Let's look at the other one. Be your own kind of beautiful. So it's a paisley cat counter cross stitch kit. Contains thread, 14 count, ivory, ada, needle and instructions. So let's have a look. This one's a little bit bigger. Let me get my scissors. Because it's not going to want to. Oh, that's nice. Oops. I untangle it so I've got all my threads and they're actually already told me what each one is so that's that's handy because the other one doesn't I'm gonna have to work out what the colors are then you've got your piece of Ada doesn't come with a needle no, that's just thread, cardboard, pattern. Let me just make sure it's not. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a needle. So the needle's in there. And then it gives me instructions how many strands to use the pattern. Let's see. Getting started working order so it gives me instructions on how to do it so i'm excited to start those we don't need that bit of cardboard that can go um so yeah i have got another couple of things coming that will be coming in so i'll pop them here the next things that are coming in this week i'll see you all soon bye we're back we've got another delivery so i ordered six items from spotlight two of them have been refunded and the other three items, are and the other four items are coming in three different parcels. And on top of it, I've been getting text messages to say that um, they're on their way and I need to be home for delivery. And then they just leave it in my letterbox. So anyway, this is the next Spotlight 
we've had two this is a third we've got one more to go we've got another kit another cross stitch kit make your own magic includes thread 14 count ada fabric needles and instructions so let's open it up and have a look it looks like it's very similar to the kitty cat i might just cut this or else i'm just going to end up ripping in the fact that the threads are all together i have since uh kitted up the lorikeets but that was difficult because the threads went on a card like this so they're not dmc numbers i don't know what numbers they correspond to but the other one had dmc numbers which is great but luckily i had an old dmc chart here because I had to sit and work out what the 19 different colours were. Which took a little bit of time. But this is handy because it's all just in a row. Let me have a look at the pattern. Oh, I just lost it. We did get a needle. I lost it on the floor. Okay, so the codes, you just look at the codes there. So 13152. Where is it? Oh, right at the top, 13152 pink, and it's for details. 6754. Light peach is a, a triangle, and I need two strands of it. So it's easy to read. So you've got your pattern there, and then it's just got some basic instructions on how to do a French knot, back stitching, cross stitching, and starting and ending, how to pull the strands out gonna just get my needle before I lose it so we've got another needle here I almost fell off my chair just a silver needle you've got all the threads you need a piece of what was handy is what I did is I put holes in the cardboard from the lorikeet and wrote all the names on it and then I've just threaded it through the cardboard we don't need that because it's already set and we've got our picture and then yeah eight o'clock so three little projects so far, easy for me to get started back into cross stitch. Um, and we'll wait to see what the next project's going to come in like. Hopefully it won't take too long, but pandemic, postal service, not great at the moment. So we'll wait to see when they come in. So three of our six ordered. And I'm excited for the next one because it's a kit on something that I haven't done before. My, I got the um, latch hook. I got latch hook and punch needle and one of them got refunded. So there you go. That's our princess cross stitch again. So we'll see you all soon when the next one comes in. Bye. Okay, we've got another unboxing. So this should be the last from my spotlight delivery. I'm still a bit upset that two of my items were cancelled, but what can you do about it? Not much. So I think I've got one other item that is due to come in before this goes up. And this is my last order. It is a Finding Dory Latch Hook Kit Includes pre-cut yarn, full colour printed canvas and easy to follow instructions Hopefully they're easy to follow because I've never done latch hook before So the other one that I ordered that got cancelled was Punch Art So I'm still going to be on the hunt to find a punch art kit that I like I might actually just go up to spotlight and see if they have any unfortunately stores for us to buy things there's not much in my area I don't really have any um craft shops other than spotlight I've got no little craft shops the closest like embroidery craft shop to me is nearly 30 k's away which is a decent a decent drive Okay, let's see. So I have no idea how this all works. Is it what's it meant to be? Latch hook. Okay, so it's just quite a thick canvas. 
There you go, there's Dory. And then you get all your threads. So there's four lots of threads. Oh, I need a latch hook kit, a latch hook tool. I need to purchase it separately. So I will have to go up to Spotlight and buy myself a latch hook. There's three parts, the hooks, the latch and the handle. The bundles of yarn are all the same, same colours in the bundles. Some colours in the bundles may be similar. Separate the yarn colours so it's easy to pick up. And then you start in the lower right corner and work in a horizontal rows matching the yarn colour to the canvas. When there are two colours on the canvas thread, choose a colour and that it covers it most. And then you just latch it through. So it seems simple enough. To finish the edge of the canvas, fold them to the back so that the blank ca canvas shows, so no blank canvas shows on the front. Hand stitch the edge of the back to the back with your sewing thread. Once the edges are finished, you can add tabs to make a wall hanging or hand stitch it to a pillow. If you prefer to use purchase rug binding, you'll need one point one and a half yards. So there you go. That is my Dory latch hook that I now have to go and buy a latch hook hook um, because I didn't realize I needed one, but that's okay. We'll go and get one in the next few days. So I'm looking forward to starting that. And it does say on the front, latch hook not included, which I missed because I ordered it online. So I'm looking forward to making my dory. I think it'll look really cute. But yeah, stay tuned. Something else should come in this week and then I'll pop it here and I'll see you all soon. So this could be our last package for this unopening this week. Um, I think I know where this has come from. I'm hoping it's where, I'm really, really hoping it's the one I'm thinking. Sorry for the plastic. Um, I've been waiting a little bit from this. I think it's come from America. But it's not. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Let's see. Ah, oh, no. This has come from... Uh, I'll link it in the comments. It's either... I think it's come from... Do, 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 do. What's it called? AliExpress. It is a DIY diamond towel box. So it's a tissue box. Hopefully a standard size box of tissues fits in it. But we will wait and see. I can't even show you a picture of it because that's all that it comes on the box. DIY diamond towel box. Um, contains small part, tear off one corner at a time, put the diamonds, yeah. So, it's a tissue box. Now, I don't know if my lights, my lights are not playing, playing well with me today. But, let's see, all the diamonds come in here, so let's see what's in the bag. We have a little round tray use it for trash a tiny tiny little square of pink wax and a basic pen and I'm assuming that let's peel this back they're numbered on the canvas because there's no there's no um so I'm just trying to peel it back without peeling it off okay there you go. There's no numbers. Let's see. So we have these big smiley things, which I'm assuming we can put them here in this big section. And then the little eyes would go on the little flowers. This is really cute. Really, really cute. And then it's all just numbered. Let's 
have a look. I can't see. I'm looking for a plus. Oh, yeah. So it just has the symbol on the actual drills. Why is my light not? Hmm. I might try and bring you down a little bit. That's a little bit better. So then you just have the symbols on the bags. So we've got a pink rhinestone. Let's see. It's like a dark purpley color. There's a dot in like the silvery clear. We've got S is a blue. H is a round. Oh, that's like a big purple five. Oh, that goes all in the background of it. A, which is a light green. We've got a topazy colour is Q. Pink is I. But I'll list down in the description box where I got this. Three is another big purple and that goes in the background of it. A champagne -y kind of colour. Bluey, aqua -y colour there. A really soft blue, that one, with a runaway pink. A red and a green. So I'm just going to have to be careful because they're not Ziploc bags. Let's see if these come off. Oh, I can just peel those off and stick them on a container. So let's see what we've got there. So it's all just going to be... Oh, it just wraps around. Then there's a big, big flower there. Let's see if I can get the... We've got another big flower on that end. Oh, that's its own, own sheet of paper. Okay. Let's see if I can put that back on. I don't want to get things stuck to it. Um, you're going to have to be careful pulling the backing paper off because it's going to pull the glue off because it's a double-sided tape. And then we've got the flowers again. That's for our big flower there. And the top. is the flowers like the side so what i might do is i might just pause you i think i've got a box of tissues in the other room hang on a second all right i've gone and grabbed a box of tissues but i have a feeling this one's not going to fit because it's quite a a tall box of tissues damn it doesn't fit okay so you'd have to find the right size box of tissues a smaller size box of tissues to fit in there i suppose if worse came to worse what you could do is open the tissues from the box yeah because you've got a fair bit of leeway in there so I'm just opening up my tissues that hubby keeps in his room I reckon they would fit you could just open the box and then sit the tissues on the tray because sit the tissues on that and then slide it in and you've got your tissue box so that's a fun little project, all your little gems. And that didn't take as too long to get here from memory. But like I said, I'll pop it in the description box below where I got it from. I'm pretty sure I did get it off AliExpress. But I'm excited to do that little snack project. It'll be fun. Um, there might be something else coming in. There may not. If not, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed all my unboxings and all the projects that I've got coming up. I'll see you soon. Bye.